So there are a lot of reasons it's taking me so long to get part three of my Montana trip posted up like these. A three week hair modeling gig. Yeah, I'm interested. My dogs ate my video. Dear Nigerian Prince Abdullah, so sorry to hear about your deposed father. But mainly, I've just been super busy and I apologize for that, but I've also had to figure out how to format this video in the right way. I'm taking the first half day that I was there from the time I got to the Airbnb that afternoon till that evening, cause I did some rock hunting then. And then the last day that I was there as well, put those together in one video. So you'll see them labeled out day one and the last day. Um, the river didn't work for me. It's weird, but my Airbnb did. This is so cool. Check it out. peaceful I'm in Montana finally my little Airbnb up here and it is in the foothills just a couple miles off the Yellowstone River and on their land they told me they don't mind if I look for rocks and they found some agates around here before so that's what I'm doing right now tomorrow I've got a guided tour set up I'm gonna get on a boat gonna go hunt some islands and then the next three days after that i'm just gonna be looking on my own so let's see if i can find anything while i'm here just walking around their property here there's so many different rocks that i'm used to in texas and i absolutely love it that looks like petrified wood it is well, that's pretty too very nice grain that's a big old chunk of petrified wood. How about that? It's kind of broken up, but that's a cool find. I'm gonna leave that one here for right now. Okay, that's interesting. I don't know what that is. It looks like some kind of fossil. Oh, no clue though. I'm keeping that one just to find out what it is. And then right down by my feet, that one. And there's what I gotta look out for while I am out here. See it? Mr. Snakeskin. I think I see a really pretty piece of petrified wood. Yep. Move ants. Let's see if I can get it out. I don't know how big it is. Well, Maybe pretty big. I still can't get it out. Wow. All right, so I actually had to use my rock pick to get enough of this out to get it loose. Oh, that's a big old chunk. I mean, that's a massive chunk. Oh, look at that grain. Oh my goodness. I haven't even gotten out of the river yet, and it's already one of the best. That's probably the best piece of petrified wood I've ever found. Oh my goodness. Look at that grain. Oh yeah, look at that end grain. That's beautiful. I don't know if this one counts or not, but I think it does. Our first little, uh, I don't know if I call it an agate, it's a piece of chalcedony at least. This is definitely my first agate, agate. dendrites in there spray that off see what it looks like oh yeah that's pretty really clear chalcedony there agate number one in the books so you see how hazy it is behind me this uh canadian wildfires all the smoke is infiltrating all these northwestern states and uh it's pretty hazy so I've been walking around now with so many stickers on me. 
I don't even notice them. I'm just sticking on my leg. I'm just walking. There's so many things around here that'll get you. But that's like Texas, so I'm kind of used to that. A bunch of goats right here. Hi, bud. Hi. Are you a friendly guy? Oh, we're gonna pee right there, huh? That's how we're gonna react. Cool. So here I am on my last full day in Montana on the Yellowstone again. A little further south this time. And uh, I know this is a pretty well picked over area, but I wanted to just check it out to see something new while I'm still here. So I think I've got one already. It's not an agate, but it's one of the coolest pieces of petrified wood I've ever seen. That is completely solid. Gorgeous. Poor guy, he's gonna be eating before the end of the day. He's tiny, maybe two inches, three inches. It's definitely newborn. There's a cutie. Well, that spot on the river was a bust. I mean, an absolute bust. Uh, did a lot of walking for absolutely nothing. So I'm back here at the Airbnb and uh, decided to walk their land since I have permission to do so. And I've already found a nice little wagon. So that's where we're gonna spend the rest of our time today before I have to pack up and head to South Dakota to hunt some uh, agate at Teepee Canyon. That looks to be an agate too. Oh, that's a cool one. Oh, that's way cool. Yeah, I'm already having a lot more luck off the river today. This just isn't picked over. The river's so picked over already. So, sweet. So I made it into this little uh, dry creek bed. And check this one out. Oh my goodness. So we got a little pocket with some crystallization in there. I don't know if that's calcite or what that is there. Some beautiful colors. And we've got Petroida with Druzy in agate pockets. This one is wild. It's the size of a grapefruit, but I'm absolutely taking it. We're going to cut this one because I'm curious to see what's inside. That's just so cool. This is where I am right now. I am wandering a rattlesnake infested dried up creek bed in central, almost eastern Montana. This is the life. I think I've got a good one. Absolutely. Oh, that's a beauty. It's got a lot of blue in it. Get that cleaned up, get a torch on it. See what's up under there, but that is gorgeous. It's burning my hand, but it's definitely a keeper. Get a little something. Just a clear piece. I don't think it's got any banding or anything, but it counts. I passed up a few of these on the river, but I'm gonna take one now. This is a beautiful stromatolite. Just so pretty. Take a look at the colors in this petrified wood. We got some blues and yellows and a bunch of red. I don't even know if it's showing up with this uh, reflection on the camera. Just so much going on in there. Really pretty. Pretty fractured. But I think I'm going to take it anyway. I'll get it cleaned up later. I'll show you guys again. Alright, so let's take a look at some of these things from the first and last day of my trip to Montana. This is a fossilized coral. I just thought it was pretty cool. There's nothing agatized about it or anything like that, but 
it's all cemented together and I think it's a pretty neat little specimen. I don't know what kind of coral this is, but it's definitely what it is. But I just thought it was pretty cool. Next up on the non-agate front would be this chunk of stromatolite. This stuff is just so awesome with the patterns in there and I can't wait to cut this and actually see inside. I know it's gonna be really pretty when it all is said and done, but this is just a fossilized algae. So one of the oldest living organisms, I believe if I remember right, and I, I may be way off and y'all can correct me in the comments. That wouldn't be the first time I was wrong even today. Um, really, really pretty. So I just thought this was neat. Next up is this piece of uh, petrified wood that I just, the colors on here are really, really neat. And I don't know how it's gonna come out when I eventually cut it. But I actually have some high hopes for this one. Cause it's got a lot of really neat details in here. And then we've got our bigger chunk of agatized wood here, which this was the very first thing I found in Montana. And the colors are just great. And to find this at the Airbnb, that was, that was pretty exciting great ingrain right here so this will be a fun one to cut should get some nice slabs out of this one all right next we'll move on to the agates and this little guy here i just freaking love i mean the banding in here Let's see if we'll get that to pick up is it gonna work this way nope let me get the light off the banding in here is just spectacular what an awesome little agate all right, next one is the first agate I found while at the Airbnb. And it's a pretty clear agate. It's got great translucency, beautiful dendrite bands. And it's, it's again, another very pretty one. So for finding it at the Airbnb, I was incredibly uh, hopeful at that point if I'm just finding the place where I'm staying, much less uh, the target of the Yellowstone like I was there to, to go hunt. So I was not disappointed in any way about it. This wasn't even close to the best one I found at the Airbnb. So, yeah, this one is a really neat waterline. You can see all the waterline banding through there right there. And it is uh, really detailed. Let me get that light off. You can see all the detail there on the waterline. It's going to be an awesome one once I get it all shaped out and polished. This next one's way cool. Just because of all the bots on top. Oh, look at those petroidal tubes. Oh, that's way cool. So I'm excited to see what this one has in store for the insides. You can see some banding in there and uh, there may be a few other secrets, but those, uh, that petroidal cave, petroidal tube cave. I'm gonna use that, that's my new term. I think that's pretty awesome. Here we got a big mouth quartz seam. Really, really pretty outline banding on that. I think this one's gonna be a, a neat one when I figure out what I wanna do with it. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I like it. Hey man, how you doing? Ding. So this uh, another one that I think I knew it was an agate when I found it. I wasn't recording at the time. Uh, just enjoying my time out there in the hills. Uh, we get it all cleaned off and you can clearly see all this banding running through up in here. And additionally, we've got some eyes running through with more banding. So this one's going to hold some secrets without question. I'm excited to see into it a little further. Look at all the eyes there. I didn't even notice all those. Man, yeah, this one's going to be awesome. I want to get this one here, which is just way cool. It's even got some kind of reddish tint to it. So this one's got some color. How awesome is that? It's definitely gonna have some banding running up through those pockets as well. Yeah, this one will be a pretty one to cut. So definitely got another very pretty one. You can see a lot of moss just on the outside right here. A few fractures in here, but it does have some very pretty banding and great moss. So should be able to get some good use out of this one. Now this is one that I wish was not so fractured because this one is very fractured. You can see the big old fracture runner right through there.
but on our encrusted top there, you've got tons of eyes showing up on here. So I don't know what I'll be able to do with this one. There's a great banding pattern running through there as well, but I'll be able to do something. It's got some hidden secrets as well. All right, just got a few more here I wanna show. This has got tons of moss, tons of moss all up in here. Up in her, up in her. And some, some beautiful like root beer color to it, I think. Yeah, look at that glow. Oh, that's got some pretty color. A lot of red in that actually, a lot more than I realized. Yeah, that one's gonna be party. And we've got some banding in there too. I don't know if you, yeah, you can kind of see right there, see that separation where that light's being allowed through. So we do have some banding in there as well. So these last four here I'm gonna show are the ones I'm most excited about from this day of hunting. And see all the banding running through. Tons of banding in this one. You can even see it right here peeking around, that little point right there. That'll have a lot of banding through it. And it's so clear. I mean, just so clear. That's the definition of a glower. That's a definite winner. All right, now we're gonna get the ones I think are the absolute coolest. Check this one out. The details on the back of this one are just, oh, they're amazing. This is another one I found at the Airbnb. This one I did record, uh, which I'm sure you guys saw me find this one, but the colors, we got yellows, we've got blues, whites, oranges, uh, kind of purples. Um, this one is just gonna be absolutely stunning. It's much like that other one that my Airbnb host uh, gifted to me. You can see all that blue chalcedony in there, and that's gonna be loaded with moss as well. So once this gets cut, it's gonna expose all that moss, and I see some banding as well. So yeah, this one is just gonna be, uh, it's gonna be gorgeous, and I don't see like any fractures in it. Hard to see all the way through this one, but from what I can tell, you feel the light coming through there. Ah, uh, what an agate, how gorgeous is that? And then these last two here that I'm gonna show you from the trip, uh, from Montana at least, these last two will probably start arguments in the chat about what defines an agate and what defines a jasper and what's a jasper agate, et cetera. Um, this thing is just loaded with gorgeous, gorgeous eyes and banding all throughout this little guy. Beautiful orange running through some of this banding, you know, little pockets. There are little crystals in them. They're tiny, tiny, like uh, I'm not gonna be able to pick them up with my, my phone here, but so pretty. And uh, you do have some translucency. So you can see in the edges there, you see that light up? That is actually translucent. So it is, uh, I don't know, depending on who you ask, an agate, jasp agate? Uh, don't know, because it's not translucent all the way through, that's for sure. But uh, I just know it's gorgeous and I am uh, very excited to see this thing when we get all this, uh, get her clothes taken off, so to speak. See up underneath because the patterning on here is just ridiculously amazing. I mean, how cool is that piece? And last one, I'm sure we can have the same debate about, is it an agate, is it a jasp agate, is it a jasper, what is it? I don't care, it's awesome. Like the size of a shriveled up grapefruit here, right? But orange, as I'll get up, before I get it wet, I'll show it does have translucency to it. You can clearly see that, uh, let me get in the right pockets here. You can clearly see that there's there's a lot of translucency, so. It's, uh, it's definitely not opaque, but it's got so much detail and character to it. I mean, between the little pockets of Drews that have agate banding running all the way around them. Uh, we've got this one darker section here, which is interesting. Um, you've got another Drews with more agate banding, agate banding. Uh, a lot of fortifications all throughout here. Very dark. This is Jasper here in these areas. So that will definitely be Jasper. Uh, more fortification banding running all through this thing, kind of all over. So it's a real neat mix of stuff. Get all wet. You can actually see all those fortification details so much clearer. They really pop out at this point. 
I mean, they're everywhere. How cool is that thing? So yeah, I'll eventually get this cut open, but I mean, it's covered in fortification patterns. And uh, I really want to see inside this thing. So next cutting session, uh, which will be soon, we will be cutting this one open, definitely. So I hope you guys enjoyed my Montana adventure. Next up is South Dakota. What a phenomenal time I had there. What a beautiful state. I can't wait to go back and actually spend some real time in that state. But I'll be getting those out a lot sooner here than I did this third part. And I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you. Y'all have a great one.